The second letter of the first word is an A. Garfield. No. You get ahead for that. Ah. You said Garfield. Any, yeah, any you're brutal. I'm Jason Miller, a full-time professional flight instructor. On the Finer Points channel, you can join me as I bring you tips and tricks that I've learned from 20 years on the flight line. Hello aviators, welcome back to the Finer Points. This morning we're putting general aviation to use. Um, it's really rewarding in this world of COVID to be able to just jump in a small plane with me and the kids and my wife Jess and know that, you know, we can go pretty much wherever we want in the country and the experience really hasn't changed very much. Um, it's really a time where the utility of GA stands out. And uh, we're going to take advantage of that this morning. I'm going to take the, the family down to Palm Springs for the weekend and um, we're not really going to encounter anybody on the way down there, so we're fairly COVID safe. And I'm going to show you what it's like to fly with kids for real, in the real world, and give you some pointers on how you can get that done. Check it out. Whenever you go on a long cross country, hopefully the airplane will not be filled to the brim because you never know how the family's going to pack and you want to order fuel the morning of the flight to make sure that you're within weight. As you can see, my family uh, is not so good at packing light, you know, no matter how hard we try. There are four people, but the 182, especially this turbo version, it's an amazing airplane. We were loaded right up to max gross weight, but we were within balance and uh, ready to go when I discovered something in the pre-flight. One of the things I discovered here is that even though the sun's up and the temperature's above freezing, there's ice on the wings. We need definitely need to wait for that to melt. We can't go while that's there. So I'll show you what I'm seeing. It's just because the metal is so cold from sitting out all night, but this is what it looks like. So it won't take long to melt that ice off, but you can see it's adding weight. It's not water yet. It's sort of solid. Um, I'm not going to scrape it off because it's not my plan. I don't want to scratch the paint. So we'll just wait. Uh, with the sun beating on it above freezing temperatures, it shouldn't take too long. Auburn Municipal Airport, automated weather observation, 1728 Zulu. Wind, calm, visibility, more than 10. All right, you guys, so flying with the family today, they can't hear me because of the magic cockpit isolation. You can isolate the pilot. Uh, that is a huge tool. And if I was in an aircraft that didn't have that, I would probably tell my wife to unplug the uh, microphone portion of the of the kid's headset just so I could focus. Um, that That's really critical. So I can continue to go through my normal procedures like this, right turn, pink line comes out, numbers increase, slab moves to the outside, both okay, attitude four, indicators one, Victor, based final two, five, are stable, and so the uh, taxi checks are complete. So very important that I focus today, the weather is cool and we're in a turbo, but we are going out at maximum gross weight um, on our way to Palm Springs. We had to wait a little while this morning for the ice to melt off the wings in the sunlight. I have no issue with there being water on the wings. If it was, you know, if I had pulled it into a hangar, say like in Chicago, to melt all the ice, I would want to dry those wings before I pulled it back out into the sub-zero temperatures. Um, all right, we're going to take it real slow. I'm going to stay keep isolated here until I make sure everybody's ready to go for takeoff. And then once we're up in cruise flight, we can join the family and see how see how they're doing. You guys get a you get a special seat on this flight. All right, pressure temperatures, both uh, temps coming up. Pressure looks good. Fuel flow is good. CHTs are coming alive. Electric nose, mixture throttle, mags, prop, vacuum. We missed. Let's check the vacuum. And on this aircraft, the only vacuum gate, the only instrument powered by the vacuum system is the standby attitude indicator, and that's looking good. All right. Back to both radios. We want to zoom out a little bit there. Hey Rowan, can you wear the special headphones and then you can talk to us through a really, really special microphone? So while Rowan's young, Jess rides in the back with Rowan, Elena rides up front with me, and one of the challenges that Jess has back there is getting Rowan to consistently wear her headset. Uh, most of the time it looks like this with you know Jess struggling to get it on her and keep it on her. Um, it's a real challenge and you know, we've, I've heard we can try to get her to watch shows at home with the headset on to get her used to it. Um, but it's tough, you know, eventually Jess got it on her, but it's not easy. 
When I'm flying like this with the family, we file a VFR flight plan. We have an ADS-B receiver, which helps me stay aware of traffic. Um, and I really try to keep my eyes outside the airplane. I'm sorry, who uh, has a request? Yes, sir, that's uh, Skylane 5148 Yankee, about two zero miles south-southeast of Hangtown. 7,500 VFR Palm Springs, request flight following. 5148 Yankee, Narcal approach, Roger, radar contact, Sacramento, North 3027. Clear your type aircraft again. Uh, we are a Cessna 182 Slant Golf. Now that I had flight following in place, I moved on to the next battle, which is trying to keep Elena off the iPad. Um, so we tend to play a lot of Hangman. Right. That went re down really fast. Look. What did? I know, look at this. We're doing 165 knots. That's 200 miles an hour. We're going to get there soon. Uh, well, we're, now that's not Palm Springs, though. That's Hang. That's Palmdale. It's about another uh, 45 minutes after that, so 40 minutes, maybe. Okay. How, the, how the winds go here. All Can right. I make a word? Uh, um, let's see, are there any A's? Yes, there are A's. There's an, the second letter of the first word is an A. Um, Garfield. No. Um, are there any A E? Are there any E's? Oh, wait, you get ahead for that. Oh. You said Garfield. Any, yeah, any what? You're brutal. Are there any E's? Yeah. The second to last of the second word. Um, okay, A, E, are there any eyes? No. Ah. Now, any self-respecting 10-year-old would take one look at this and know that Elena was going for Harry Potter, but I got hung on the gallows because I couldn't figure that out. Five, you four, really three, don't know what it is now? And Harry uh, Potter! Potter. Yeah. Uh, to do, uh... Our flight down the valley went pretty much as planned, nothing out of the ordinary, the weather was good, until we got to Southern California. You can see here on the iPad that the entire screen is orange because of these overlays. There was an airmet for turbulence with multiple pilot reports. We definitely felt it as we flew through continuous light chop, but uh, we only had one real moderate bounce. You can see that I have the power back at 17 inches to stay below maneuvering speed, and I'm just trying to fly a level pitch attitude. Eventually, we make it into Palm Springs where I can land and deliver the children to their grandmother, who was very, very happy to see them. And really, we encountered nobody along the way, so it's a, it's a great way to travel. General Aviation really came through, and I'm so honored and grateful to be able to share this with my family. All right, you guys, I know I'm going to catch a lot of grief about not getting that headset on the baby, but I promised I was going to be real with you about how this goes. Uh, one of the strategies that I've been told can work and I'm trying it is to get Rowan working with the headset at home so just Bluetoothing it to whatever she's watching nature shows or whatever else uh, just so that we can try to get her used to it because man she really doesn't seem to mind the noise of the 182 but she sure hates wearing that headset also you can see how important that isolation button is that allows me to stick to all my standard procedures without getting distracted by my family uh, who has the best of intentions but can also be very very distracting and there's some tips for you en route if you want to keep the kids off the iPad, watching shows and all that sort of stuff. You got I Spy with My Little Eye or the game that Elena and I love to play, which is Hangman. All right, so that's all for this episode. A huge thanks to you for watching. A big thanks to the patrons for their support of the Finer Points. Now, if you're looking for bonus content and you'd like to support the videos you see here, uh, please come visit patreon.com slash learntfp. Also, a big thanks to the sponsors. Remember that when you renew your AOPA membership, you should select Pilot Protection Services. You guys are the best fans on the internet. Please hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, hit that little alert bell so you get notified of uploads. Talk to me in the comments, ask me questions, video suggestions, anything else you want. You guys are the best fans on the internet. Until next time, be safe and fly your best.